1800s America was host to the Underground Railroad. No locomotives, no, no rails. It was a secret network of American citizens, mostly Christians, who were violating laws by Congress. The 1793 and 1850 Fugitive Slave Acts required citizens to hand over travelers who couldn't produce papers to show that they were free men. The men and women who operated the Underground Railroad knew that law was immoral, and they were determined that they would help those people find their way to freedom. They weren't too big into compliance with immoral laws. Freedom seekers fled slave states to gain their liberty, traveling northward to the free states or to Canada. They ran by night, guided by the North Star. Under midnight stealth, they transported these victims of oppression from safe house to safe house, providing food and hiding places. Meanwhile, government agents, slave patrols, slave catchers looking for bounties, you know, to collect the rewards, and even posses did everything they could to catch these people, these noble refugees. But these people were determined that they would help them find their way to freedom. Thank God for the Underground Railroad. When they connected with the railroad, many continued north into this state where I live, the state of Michigan. Interstate 94, which travels from Chicago to Detroit, was built pretty much over one of these main Underground Railroad routes. That city, Detroit, had the code name Midnight. Once you got to the Detroit River there, you were just about a half a mile from Canada and freedom. People think they would have hidden Jews from Nazis or that they would have helped runaways on the Underground Railroad find their way to freedom if they'd only lived in that time. Well, maybe so, maybe so. But if that's true, would you be willing to help those people today being crushed by corporations and governments? simply for exercising their right to choose not to be vaccinated? Or are you deep in the weeds of conformity? Impositions against liberty are being experienced globally. People are enthralled. They've been hypnotized into a mania for submission and compliance to an all-powerful social media, big pharma, big government, techno-Marxist surveillance state. In some places, travel, employment, even access to buying food and gasoline for your car is withheld from the unvaccinated. Governmental agents are enacting vaccination passports. Isn't that kind of like a, a movement license? In some nations, freedom to move from state to state for the unvaccinated has been usurped. People are even being prevented from returning home to their jobs or homes. The non-conforming are being crushed into a new subclass. Perfectly healthy people because they choose not to vaccinate. From a situation where to protect the health system, we've got everybody locked down. We're gonna to move to a situation where to protect the health system, we're gonna lock out people who are not vaccinated and can be. If you're making the choice not to get vaccinated, then you're making the wrong choice. You're making the wrong choice. So there's gonna be a vaccinated uh, economy and you get to participate that, you get to participate in that if you are vaccinated. So you basically see it, this is going to be like, well, it's almost like, I, you probably don't see it like this, the two different classes of people, if you're vaccinated or if you're unvaccinated, you have all these rights. If you are vaccinated... That is what it is. So, yep. Okay. Yep. What happens to those travelers who refuse to be vaccinated and do not have a medical exception? Will they be allowed an accommodation or can they not travel? Uh, Canadians know that the way to get through this pandemic is for everyone to get vaccinated. So unless people have a medical exception, they will not be able to board a plane or a train in Canada if they are unvaccinated. Now's not the time to protest about anything. In some places, people are even being denied life-saving medical treatment. How low can you go? But I guess pretty low. Pastors are being fined and jailed for holding worship services. Mothers led away in handcuffs for Facebook posts. Parents tasered for attending their kids' sports events on that. Civilization is burning down before our eyes while masked, emasculated men look on, trying to figure out what sex they are. So, a question. When the unjabbed show up at your church or maybe your home, what will you do? Will you help them? Or will you become a government collaborator Will you help refugees whose rights are being usurped and crushed by jackbooted authorities? 
God made all humans with an unremovable right to liberty. An unjust law is no law at all. A century ago, it was morally wrong to obey the Fugitive Slave Act. Thousands could see it. What is it about the 2020s? How is it that we've grown so cold? It is a moral violation to treat someone as less free because they choose not to inject themselves with poison. These thefts of liberty are turning Earth into a pharmaceutical plantation, a syringe gulag. Is it time for an underground railroad in the 2020s?